Say hi, people. So after an hour of uh, train ride from Tel Aviv, I have arrived to Haifa, which is the third largest city in Israel. It sits on a beautiful bay of uh, the Mediterranean Sea. And right now, I'm in the Bay Central Station, Merkazit Amifratz. And let's go out. Let's see what's going on. So this area is called the check post, which is a reminder of British era. And we're looking for the Metronit, the uh, BRT buses in the Haifa metropolis called the Metronit, which is something between a metro and a bus. And we're looking for Metronit number three. And let's see. Okay, so here we are. I found the Metro Need station. So we'll cross. We'll cross this road. This is the Metro Need station. And let's see. This is number one. We want number three. Let's see if we have it here. And the Metro Need has a designated line, lane for her. Here is Metro Need number three. So I need to validate. And we're on the Metro Need. Okay, so you can see here. This is the entrance to the market. Let's see what we can find. Okay, so we have liquor. We have uh, dry fruits and nuts. You can see veggies. We have summer is coming up, so you can see uh, watermelons and grapes. The, yeah, let's go on the market. Okay, you can see eggs. Spices. Gummy bears. Yeah, two fishermen. You can see loads and loads of smoked fish. Yeah. Okay, so that's an interesting sign in front of us. You can see it says uh, we don't sell pork and non-kosher meat. We don't have nothing to do with the market outside. As you can see, the market uh, around us has many Russian stores, many Arab stores selling not exactly kosher meat, but uh, that store wants to point out that it's kosher so that the religious Jews can buy there safely. Another very interesting and trendy place I want to tell you about is called Robin Food. So as you see, save food, eat well. This is basically the philosophy that we we throw too much food away. So they rescue food from trash, from a vegetable shops at the end of the day, and they make amazing meals out of it. And they don't charge you a fixed menu, just pay what you feel. So definitely come and check out. See here, that's the new Carmelite. So, let's go in. That goes up the same way you go down. Yeah. So that's the Kermit. Basically, a lift. And you can see that we have three stations up and two stations down. We're going down right now. Okay, let's go down. So we're 
out of the Kremlitz in uh, central downtown, what we call Hadar in Haifa. And this place is called Paris Square. We'll see it in a moment. So here we are at that Paris Square. This building, the round building called the Rocket. It's the government building of Haifa. And we're going on that direction to Stokopoulos. This is another Haifa institution. This is the Abu Shaka restaurant. And we're gonna say place to go. Okay, so the guy was very nice. We've got nice beautiful box of hummus for 15 shekels. And we got two falafel balls for free. One I already tried and the other I will try with you. So, mm, you can see, it's basically chickpea with spices and greens in deep oil. Mm, very, very good, very hot. Okay, so here we are in the middle of Wadi Nisma's neighborhood, one of the Arab neighbors of Haifa. We're in front of Shawarma Emil, which is a Haifa institution. They claim to be the first shawarma in Israel since 1966. Let's check it out. So here is the shawarma. No games, lots of meat, some pickles, some tahini, some spicy. Let's rock! Let's rock! So here we are at the streets of uh, Nisnas Valley, Vadi Nisnas. And it's one of the Arab neighborhoods of Haifa. Very touristy. Lots of Good bakeries. This is here. One of the bakeries. Haifa is a city of three religions, actually four or even five. We have here Jews, obviously, Muslims, Christians, Druze, and Baha'i. So, very multicultural city. As you can see, those are the two famous falafel joints, rival falafel joints in Haifa. This is Falafel Michel. And this is the falafel of the old man, the elderly falafel which was established in 1950. Okay guys, so we're at Bat Galim neighborhood and we're gonna take this uh, cable car, as you can see, going up to a place called Stella Maris, which there's a nice monastery there. And then we're gonna go all the way down to Elijah's cave and to this beautiful, beautiful beach. Let's go. One of the issues of the city of Haifa is that it got a railway that crosses, that disconnects the city from its beaches. So as you can see, this beautiful, beautiful, beautiful beach, pretty wild, unspoiled, and relatively disconnected from the city. But today we're going to the cable car for the first time. Cable car. Okay, so I love Haifa, the traditional, and here is the cable car. Yeah.
so we're in the cable car going up to the Carmel Mountain. We're gonna see the Stella Maris uh, Monastery. Yeah. So as in any market, we have the trendy restaurants. So that's the beer shop, which is like a barricade restaurant with local beers. This one is called the Tarpiot restaurant. You can see ultra trendy, ultra fresh ingredients, very fine restaurant. So, but for today, I'm more into street food. So we're going to check out the best shawarma in Haifa, shawarma ML. So there we are, up on the Carnival Market uh, Mountain. You can see the trains going down. You can see the Bat Galim uh, neighborhood. You can see the white building there is the Rambam Hospital, and you can see the Bay of Haifa and the port, and all of the cities down there. In a clear day, you can even see Lebanon. Yeah, but today the view is a bit misty. Okay, so what we're going to do now is going to check out if we can peek in the Stella Maris Monastery and if it's possible. And then we're going to descend down by foot to the Elijah Cave. So let's check it out. So here we are at the Stella Maris uh, Monastery. Unfortunately, it is closed, so not lucky today. Okay, so we are starting the descent from the top of Stella Maris uh, Monastery down to Elijah Cave. As you can see, a very beautiful Carmel Mountain nature is around us.